Well, 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 if this isn't the most requested video, <laughs> a video I wasn't even sure I was going to do, but so many people wanted to see my reaction to this. So here we are. Apparently, this is a comedy show, but it's about gun control. And there's been a little bit of a debate about guns <laughs> on this channel. I was a little I was a little nervous to continue this for two reasons. One, a lot of people kind of had the same arguments and selfishly got a little bored of responding to the same things over and over again. Not really against anybody in particular. It's just my favorite part of YouTube is the comments when the same comments are constantly coming back and forth. It's old. It just gets old. And two, honestly, <laughs> like, YouTube's a little sketchy with guns, so... Yeah. <laughs> Either way, let's get to it. Let's see what Jim Jeffries has to say. This is a comedy show, so I'm taking everything he says with a grain of salt, but this should be fun. And, yeah. Now, before I start saying this, I want to say this, right? I believe in your right as Americans to have guns. I'm not trying to stop you from having guns. All I'm saying is this is my personal belief on the opinion. Okay. My opinion on the... Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I don't, <laughs> I don't like guns. Right? I'm going to say some things that are just facts, right? In Australia, we, we had guns, right? Right up until 1996. And in 1996, Australia had the biggest massacre on Earth. Still hasn't been beaten. And... <laughs> now, after that, they banned the guns. Now, in the 10 years before Port Arthur, there was 10 massacres. Since the gun ban in 1996, there hasn't been a single massacre since. I don't know how or why this happened. Uh, maybe it was a coincidence, right? Now, please understand that I understand that Australia and America are two vastly different cultures with different people, right? <laughs> okay. I was about to say that, but he, he hit it for me. Okay, okay. Right, In Australia, we had the biggest massacre on Earth, and the Australian government went, that's it, no more guns. And we all went, and we all went, yeah, right, then that seems fair enough. Yeah, that wouldn't happen here. <laughs> Now, in America, you have the Sandy Hook massacre where little tiny children died and your government went, maybe we'll get rid of the big guns? <laughs> and 50% of you went, fuck you, don't take my gun! <laughs> uh, <laughs> so here's, here's where it gets... That's funny. <laughs> that's funny, but that's true. Like... Let's, let's be honest for a second. At least where I live in small town America, it would take trying to forcefully take people's guns would be an extremely bad idea. I, I'll just I'll just leave it at that. A lot of people would get hurt and it wouldn't be pretty. <laughs> I, I know that for a fact. I will say that with confidence. <laughs> If somehow it happens and I'm proven wrong, I will eat my words, but I highly doubt that. <laughs> Confusing, right? Now, as I said, I'm all for your Second Amendment rights. I think you should be able to have guns. It's in your constitution. What I am not for is bullshit arguments and lies. There is one argument and one argument alone for having a gun, and this is the argument. Fuck off. I like guns. <laughs> It's not the best argument, but it's all you've got. I gotta disagree with that too. <laughs> like, let's let's be honest. Self defense is a very serious thing, and a lot of my audience is from the UK. But at least in America, bro, we got grizzly bears, we got fucking black bears, we got wolves, we got mountain lions, we got all these very dangerous animals that could possibly fucking kill you. You run. Be my guest if you want to go into bear country with no gun. Wouldn't be me. Personally, would not be me. But, like, I'm not risking running into a mother grizzly bear. But that's... It's not even for the people. It's for the animals, too. Like, we got very fucking dangerous animals. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with saying, I, w I like something, don't take it away from me. But don't give me this other bullshit. The main one is, I need it for protection. <laughs> He's calling me out. <laughs> He's calling me out. <laughs> really? Is that why they're called assault rifles? <laughs> Never heard of these fucking protection rifles, you speak of? <laughs> protection? What the fuck are you talking about? You, you have a gun in your house, mate. You're 80% more likely to use that gun on yourself. That, that, that's why they need better screening. Make sure people with mental health issues aren't getting guns. That's 
gun control and banning guns are two different things. I'm not against gun control. A lot of people think that. Like, gun control, I might say have opinions on how it's done, but gun control, just as gun control, I'm not against. I will say that right now, which I feel like a lot of you guys got that mixed up. I'm just strictly saying what she's saying, too. Don't take people's fucking guns. <laughs> you shoot someone else. And people think, well, that would never happen to me. You don't know that, because you know what? From time to time, we all get sad. <laughs> One day you're happy, then you're sad, and then... (laughs) Protection? I had a break-in in Manchester, England, where I was tied up, I had my head cut, they threatened to rape my girlfriend, they came through the window with a machete and a hammer, and Americans always go, well, imagine if you had a gun. And I'm like, all right. I was naked at the time. (laughs) I have a similar experience to this. I was actually walking. Rocco, come here. As I said, I had a similar experience to this. Sorry for the cut. I was trying to bring Rocco up into the frame. I don't know how well it's working. Hey, buddy. Hmm. But I was walking this guy here. And this was a few years ago. I think I was about 15 years old. And I'm walking down the street. And this guy, he asks me for money. And I kindly told him, hey, man, I don't have any money. Can't give you money. He took offense to that. He starts arguing with me. I was a dumb kid. I started arguing back because I got a little fucking frustrated. And long story short, dude pulls out what I think was a machete. Honestly, it's fucking long ago and it's frustrating. But he pulled out a good sized blade. I think it was a machete. My memory might serve me wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was a machete. And actually tried to come at me. In the fight, my dog got injured. I have fucking pictures. If you guys think I'm somehow fucking lying, reach out to me on Instagram. Dude says things. I will fucking show you. And in the fight, my dog got sliced. My dog bit the living shit out of him. And I'm okay. In that fight, let's be honest, it's very possible that dog saved my fucking life. And who knows what could have happened. If he would have got sliced in the wrong spot or me, bro, we could have died. Let's be honest. Walking down the street, there's concealed carry. If I had a fucking gun on me, that wouldn't have happened. Would I walk everywhere with a gun? Probably not. So he has an argument there. But, like, I'm just saying, there are plenty of situations where having a gun can help you. That's something I don't like talking about, but I mentioned it in the comments a few if you look back. But, yeah. For me here, I just want to add, ever since then, I've looked at things through the eyes of self-defense. In the future, I have a desire to learn martial arts. That's something I actually want to do, just in case anything like that should ever happen again. As much as I love Rocco to death, he's a very loving dog, you know, even though he has part Rottweiler in him. He doesn't look the most intimidating. I plan on having dogs in the future. Even if they're harmless, I'm not going to get a little cute, fluffy dog. I'm going to have dogs that, if even if they're harmless, they look like they would, you know, people are going to cross the road. Like, it's just... Ever since then, I've looked through things with the views of self-defense. And that probably has... Because it's changed me. I'll be honest, it has. And that probably has an impact on why I see guns in the light I do. Because, again, after you have an experience like that, at least for me, it's changed me a lot. It even changed... It's changed my dog, too. He's not the same dog he used to be. So, like, yeah. Don't like talking about it. But, yeah, again, thank you guys. Future me out. (laughs) I wasn't wearing my holster. (laughs) I wasn't staring at the window waiting for cunts to come through. (laughs) Like, what world do you live in where you're constantly fucking ready? (laughs) Uh. You have guns because you like guns. That's why you go to gun conventions. That's why you're... That, that, that is true, though. That You can't deny that's true. We like guns, but they do have their uses. Like, you can't deny that guns are not useful for self-defense. But he, he, is, he does have a point, too. People don't get guns because they don't like guns. Uh, he he's not wrong <laughs> Read gun magazines none of you give a shit about the home security none of you go to home security conventions none of not you true. read padlock monthly none that's of you probably true have a facebook picture of you behind a secure door going fucking yeah somebody probably does <laughs> somebody. Like you're gonna be ready if someone comes into your house you have it at all fucking time by the way most people who are breaking into your house just want your fucking tv <laughs> 
You think that people are coming to murder your family? How many fucking enemies do you have? <laughs> Jeez, you think a lot of yourself if you think everyone's coming to murder you. <laughs> If you have it readily available, it becomes unsafe. You have it in your bedside table. One of your kids picks it up, thinks it's a toy, shoots another one of your kids. Happens every fucking day. That that is something that I can't argue. Secure gun holding is important. I do think there's a good balance. Like you could have a safe in your room, close to you that you could get to if needed. That that is true. Like. Just having the gun in your little fucking table or hidden somewhere, it's dangerous. That's a risky game. I'll I will back that. Go. That would never <laughs> happen in my house because I'm a responsible gun owner. I keep my guns locked in a safe. Then there's no fucking protection. <laughs> <laughs> I do think there's again there's a nice in between but he's got a point like if you have like a big ass gun safe under your fucking garage somewhere in a completely different room no like odds are you're not gonna have a gun for protection but like you can if you just have like a small nine millimeter or something or like a little glock like you could have a small fucking safe that you have in your bedroom that when you hear something you can go quickly undo it pull it out that kind of depends on the situation He's got a point. There's a lot of shit like that. I can't argue that. But that's very depends on the situation. There's not really a full... Every case is individual. I find the NRA to be hard work. But the fact that they always think the answer is more guns. After Sandy Hook happened, the NRA said, and I quote, None of this would have happened if the teachers had guns. <laughs> I think they're forgetting what school was like. <laughs> so, does anyone remember that casual teacher that used to, whenever she came onto school, that relief teacher came, you and your friends would see her and go, oh, we're gonna make her cry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Stand in front of the class with a bit of chalk and her hands would be shaking. And you go, you're never getting married, are you, miss? Never gonna happen for you. <laughs> <laughs> when she gets back to a 1967 Volkswagen Beetle, she'll be crying over the steering wheel, just, why don't they like me? Let's I was that piece of shit, kid. Let's and see how things work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was that kid that would probably want to get shot. Uh, to, to be honest, I do think that school should have good security. But I agree, not all the fucking teachers should have guns. That's ridiculous. That is genuinely, that's an awful idea. What I, this is my personal idea. Y'all can tell me what you think about it. You know how many homeless veterans we have who have actual fucking training to hold these guns? Bro, why don't we start hiring these fucking veterans as security for schools? Obviously do screening, make sure they don't have fucking PTSD or anything from the war that's going to make them. But like, come on, there's got to be plenty of fucking veterans that need a job that need help who would love to go and protect your kids after they've served your country there's got to be plenty of them and so that's one thing and also i think they need to do better with mental health bro guess what no gun school shootings would happen if kids didn't want to shoot up their school if we could actually go and because you hear it all the time with these fucking school shootings we saw the signs but nobody ever does anything how about we start fucking helping these kids who show these signs and help them before they're so far gone they feel the need to bring a fucking gun to the school that's fucking ridiculous and i agree better screening better gun ownership that's all important that all goes into gun control which is not my support but also let's not just fully blame the guns Let's actually help these kids. Let's stop it for before it even fucking starts. If we can go to these kids before they want to ever shoot up the school while it's just a small problem, adjust it before it ever becomes a big thing, those kids can live on happy lives. Taking away the guns, sure, it could possibly stop school shootings, maybe. 
but it's not fixing the deeper issue. The deeper issue is still there. We need to solve that. And then they go, oh, we'll answer to that. We'll just add more guns. <laughs> they go, we'll put an armed security guard at every school across America. Yeah, that'll work out. The average security guard in America earns $16 an hour. Not a lot of wiggle room to be a fucking hero. <laughs> Again, veterans, pay the veterans well. That's fuck. We need to fucking give the veterans good money. Give the veterans good vet. Make sure it's a good job. But like, I promise you, there are plenty of veterans. Wouldn't that be so much better than seeing homeless veterans on the streets giving these people jobs, that so they can actually go protect the schools? And then guess what? Maybe these veterans form bonds with certain kids, and guess what? That's helping the fucking kids, like, you know what? I don't want to fucking be a fucking criminal on the streets. I want to be like him. I'm going to go join the army. You know, that's a great thing. I don't have the fucking balls to join the army, but, like, hell. Someone comes onto the school and... <laughs> and you've got Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm sure Kevin's shit hot at Call of Duty, but it might not fucking cut it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, I understand that when I'm doing this joke in this room, 50% of you agree with me, 50% of you don't agree with me. And I do respect the people who don't agree with me. Don't think I don't. Out of the 50% that don't agree with me, 20% of those people are smart enough to realize this is a comedy show and it's not to be taken seriously, and they're yeah. laughing along because it's just funny jokes, yeah. right? Of course, I'm, I'm responding to this because he is making good points, but obviously he's playing around. I'm joking too. I'm, I'm honestly not joking. I'm being kind of serious with my responses, but you know, it's games. It's fun. He's making jokes. He has some fair points. I, I will give it to him. He has good points. I'm not going to sit here and be like, this guy's full of shit. Fuck him. Like, nah, he's got points and he's not completely wrong. And as I said, for the umptillionth fucking time, I'm not even fully against the idea of gun control. I'm against the idea of fully taking and banning everyone's guns. What that gun control looks like, that's a debate for a lot of different Americans. I say get gun experts, people who understand guns, and have them figure that out. You know, I think that there should be a lot of different screenings. Like, you know, if you just want a 9mm pistol, there should be a lot of screening. But guess what? If you're trying to get a fucking AK, there needs to be a lot more screening for that. You know, why do you want an AK? What's the reason? You know, what's your background? How much training with guns do you have? Do you have a secure place to put the gun? Is that there? There's a lot of different things. <laughs> and then the next 20% are sort of phased out a little bit and looking around going, I wonder how they got that chandelier up there. Well, they're great. <laughs> and then there's the last 10%. Who are just pissed. And they're fucking furious. <laughs> right now in this room... And the people watching at home, 10% of you are fucking seething. Just <laughs> I'm gonna get this guy. <laughs> and for a couple of reasons. First reason, I'm making good points. He is. He's got fair points. Okay. Honestly? I think this has been a long enough video. I, I think I will do part two. I think I'm going to film part two right after this, but I'm going to put it up as a separate video. I'll put that up tomorrow for you guys. But if you guys enjoyed my video, let me know. If you guys didn't enjoy my video, let me know. Do you think I made fair points back? Do you think he won? Again, it's a comedy show. I have nothing against this guy. He probably won't even see this, so there's no way he can have anything against me. He made fair points. He, he genuinely did, and he did it in a funny way. I actually enjoyed this a lot more than I thought. So, yeah, thank you guys for the suggestions. We finally did it. Uh, you guys have a great day. We're out. Bye. <laughs>